Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I have this card for you. It's going to be my thank you card for February. So place an order at MarissaAlvarez.StampinUp.net. Click shop and I will send you this thank you card. Spoiler alert. It's also my inspiration challenge uh, for today in the kitchen table stamper craft social. So every Thursday we either play mystery card or we have a game and it's an inspiration challenge of some sort. This is our color combination inspiration challenge and the color combination is Coastal Cabana Polished Pink Daffodil Delight. All right, here's my card. It's um, also to show you some wonderful new products. These were available February 1st. This is the Here Together Bundle. It includes the Here Together Cling Stamp Set. It's a nine piece set and here for you dies you can get them as just the stamp set just the dies or bundle them together and save 10 percent and we're also going to use the new natural tone stamp and blends now the reason why this is my thank you card and i was attracted to this here together is because i often do the little heart hands in my videos because you can't see my face so this is um, a throwback to, to me and my videos. So we, the Stampin' Blends have 10 different skin tones. There's light, medium light, medium, medium dark, and dark. There's two tones in each pack. And they're not like previous Stampin' Blends where you um, have two of the same color and they're just different shades. You actually have two different natural tones that are in that depth. So either light, medium, light, medium, medium, dark, or dark. But they're very different in their tones. I will um, post a picture of a chart that I did. Um, and you can go to kitchentablestamper.com to the blog. And that's where you'll find the, that picture. You'll find the printable project sheet for this card. And... Um, everything else, Kitchen Table Stamper. So kitchentablestamper.com. The link directly to the post is in the description below the video. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is, since these are my little heart hands, saying you matter and thank you, I'm gonna get a scrap of basic white and we'll do our stamping. Got a scrap of basic white and my Memento Tuxedo Black. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the heart hands. I'm gonna bring my ink pad to my stamp because it's kind of a big stamp. It's a little less awkward if you just dab the ink on the stamp. We don't ever do the symbol monkey because that will give you uneven ink co coverage. You wanna bring the stamp to the ink or the ink to the stamp. One should be on the table at all times. Let's go ahead and stamp our heart hands. We're gonna give them just a second to dry. While they dry, I'm going to bring in my card base. I got a little crafty with the color combination, I have to be honest. This is um, a, this is So Saffron. I substituted out So Saffron for Daffodil Delight, and that's the thing. I know that crafty girls do what they want, first of all, and second of all, you might not have every single Stampin' Up! color. So the idea in the color challenge, come join us for the color challenge, is that you keep the integrity of the challenge. It's not about getting exactly to the letter because maybe you don't have all three of these colors, but you can do something similar. So I'm going to use so saffron and I'm going to use that little bit of um, wiggle room that we have. I think we still have the inspiration here and it's preserved. I've got so saffron ink and some small grid paper. The other thing I have here is the new designer series paper. I've got two pieces. This is the all together six by six designer series paper. It's a black and white collection with lots of opportunities to mix and match patterns. I feel like it's got a little bit of an 80s flair to it. There are lots of wonderful opportunities for coloring depending on the pattern. So if you look at these two, those little hearts would be perfect for a little stamp and blends coloring. And these pieces are one and a half by three and a half. I'm gonna lay them kind of at jaunty angle here. And this is what I call the dry fit. It'll help me see better where I wanna stamp my background. So we got these fun little like radiating uh, background image. And we're gonna stamp one down from our designer series paper. Make sure we get the paper out of the way. And then 
you're going to do one up. Make sure you get the designer series paper out of the way. Those are the important ones. Then we'll do a little bit from the edges here. We'll do that way and this way and this way. Now, I've been decorating inside my cards a little bit more than usual. So we've got a four inch by five and a quarter inch piece of basic white. Now well, we've got the so saffron and inky background. Let's go ahead and stamp some rays off the very bottom here. And we can get rid of the sink pad. And I'm going to bring back my memento for just a minute. And the sentiment, every act of kindness changes the world. I love that these sentiments speak a little bit deeper with all that's going on in this crazy world. You matter. Every act of kindness changes the world. There are definitely things that speak to the situation that we have ourselves in in this world. And they speak um, uplifting in a deeper sort of way. So I'm enjoying the sentiments. The other sentiments in here are, I promise, with a little pinky promise, love changes everything. We'll get through this together and you matter to me. So the dies are you matter and here for you. That alone in these times, that here for you die. And it's just so, uh, just speaks deeply to the times that we're in and that will help you to lift and encourage all the people that you love in a pretty simple way too. All right, let's slide our pieces to the side. We'll do some adhesive, but first let's color my little heart hands. I often say, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thank you for your orders. I'll do like that. Or thank you for supporting my small business. You really do make a difference in this, in this family, in the Alvarez family, when you order or purchase classes. So thank you for supporting my small business. So I'll do that often when I'm doing videos and I really kind of, liked these heart hounds because of that. I thought they'd make really good thank you cards for my for my customers, but also a fun way to keep in touch with friends and family and send encouragement. We have a team member who said she's buying it because her daughter does the heart hands. So it's definitely a, it's a stamp set and a bundle that just speaks a little bit deeper and you can speak a little bit deeper to the people you love with these cards. So I'm just using the um, SU-800. This is the second to lightest shade. And I'm going to do simple coloring. I think that looks kind of like my hands. But I do love that Stampin' Up! has given us a whole collection of neutral tones. And we can make um, the, the hands and the people and everything from now on look like the people we love or look like ourselves. <laughs> oh. In this is spot. All right, now we can die cut that. We're going to use the here for you dies. We've got a little dies for the heart hands and for the pinky. We also have in this collection a little heart die. And I went ahead and I, I die cut those already. There's two of these little hearts. This is another one of the dies that is in this collection. Let me bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. That's polished pink, by the way. But you know that, because I already showed you the color combination challenge. The hearts. I made two big scraps, so I can't do both at once, but that's okay. You guys know how much I love to do all the die cutting in one pass. We're going to cut the You Matter sentiment next out of basic black. But I want to get some adhesive on the back. We're going to make it pick and stick. So let's run this one. And then we'll run. There's our heart hands. Put them right down here with our die cut hearts. And I've got a piece of basic black cardstock here. A little scrap. We're going to do You Matter. So, what I'm going to do with this one, because it's going to get self adhesive, I'm going to trim the scrap a little bit closer to the size that I need just so that there's not a lot of waste. I love the self-adhesive material that Stampin' Up! has a adhesive sheet, which I highly recommend if you're gonna get this die set. But to keep to a minimum the amount of waste, we're gonna cut our scrap close. Then we're gonna bring in our 
adhesive. So this is the Stampin' Up! adhesive sheets. They're six by 12 and you get 12 sheets in a package. I've got, let's see if this scrap is gonna be big enough. Oh, it sure is. So I've got this scrap here. It's scored in three pieces on the back of this. And so what I do is I just pick up on one of the score lines and you're going to peel to expose the adhesive. So I've got all the adhesive exposed here. And then I'm gonna put my cardstock on the adhesive. Then what I like to do is I like to bring the release, this backer paper, I like to put it back over my scrap. That helps to preserve all the extra little bits of adhesive. Then I'll take my scissors and cut out the scrap. So here, here, and oh, look at that. All right, so now I've got this adhesive backed paper that's gonna make our greeting pick and stick. And these pieces right here, are still perfectly useful. So what I'll do is I'll cut away this backer here. And I got a couple of little strips that I can use for anything. Don't ever throw the scraps that are adhesive away. Of course, you're gonna throw away the backer. There's nothing left on that. But any of these little scrap scraps, they're still adhesive. So put them back in the packet and use them for another project. Now we're gonna pop You Matter on got to go on the cardstock side. If you put it on the adhesive side, you'll have backwards writing. So just pop that little guy on there and let's give it a crank. If you're ever concerned about a detailed die cut, especially with the adhesive sheet on the back to cut through also, you can go through and then back again. That's what I just did. Get the machine out of the way and let me show you. So we'll pull away the background, that scrap. If you wanted to, you could keep these two pieces here because now you've got a little self adhesive. If you needed a little black cutout, it would work fine. We got you matter. I like to use a little low tack tape, a little washi tape, and see if that'll work before I start poking at it. Let's see. Yep. See how it lifted that right out? Now we've got an edge and we can just roll it out of the die. And there's our cut. You can push out the some of the um, negative spaces, weed them out. But you'll be surprised if you've got anything left in there that you didn't manually weed out. When you peel the adhesive to stick the greeting, a lot of this negative space see it comes right out when you peel the adhesive all right let's put this aside for a minute because we're not quite ready to stick it to the card and bring our card back in here and we're going to adhere the liner to the inside and the designer shears paper to the outside i've got multi-purpose liquid glue here and we're going to put some inside the card centered and then outside, we're going to bring back our sample so we can see placement. We're going to do kind of a um, little tilted designer series paper here. So one up and one down and away. You matter. We can finish peeling off the adhesive backer. And as you go, some of those pieces that are in those negative pieces see they just kind of fall out they kind of weed themselves now you you just be gentle but if you just roll against the side of your thumb the liner picks up you don't have to poke at it or scratch at it you don't need to have fingernails just flick against the side of your thumb until the liner comes up and then peel gently You'll see you wasn't weeded at all, but all the negative spots are gone. Okay, we can add our greeting to the front of the card. 
Now let me show you some die cutting that I did here. I've got two pieces. Here's my polished pink, some more polished pink and Coastal Cabana. The polished pink is that medium swoopy square from Hippo and Friends. And the layering circles. Let's see here. What did I punch this one? I punched this one. You can use the three, two and three eighths inch layering circles. I use the retired Stampin' Up two and a quarter inch circle punch. So either way will work. If you use the two and three eighths, you're gonna have almost no border. You can try two and an eighth. So either the smaller or the larger. If you've got a two and a quarter inch circle punch that's retired, use it. I'm going to pop this into the uh, embossing folder and give it some texture. Did you notice that my circle has the dots texture from the checks and dots folder? This one's a standard embossing folder, so we can just pop our circle in and then we're going to pop the folder onto the number one, number three. Okay, so you've got number one, which is your platform, number three, which is your cutting pad and then you pop another number three on top and give it a crank I love how a little texture just perks up any cardstock cutouts bring our card back in here and some liquid glue I'm gonna adhere my coastal cabana circle to my polished pink swoopy square and then I'm gonna adhere the swoopy square to the card front Cute, cute. Now, two more little hearts here. I used the Sweet Talk. Sweet. Which one is this called? Sweet Hearts Dies to cut this little heart. It's uh, about three eighths of an inch, so you can use what you have. I'm gonna bring in my Stampin' Dimensionals, the minis. I'm gonna add a mini to the back of the heart that I cut using the Here For You dies. And I'm going to put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of my hands. All right, pop those guys on right in the circle. A little left of center because we're going to bring a little embellishment in and we're going to pop our heart right below. One more dab of glue. We've got two of each of these hearts cut because we're not going to forget the inside. And add a little more color and love. Just pop those right in. Got enough glue there, so I'm gonna just kiss. Mwah. Mwah. And I can put the little one and the big one. And it's an easy way to use liquid glue and not make a mess. Less is more. All right, there's the inside. Now let's embellish the outside. I've got the brand new and wonderful classic matte dots and my take your pick tool i love these classic matte dots they're all the basic colors that can be used in any project we've got white vanilla basic gray and basic black let's go ahead and add a couple of these for a little bit of texture and matte matte shine there you go. You matter. And here's with the white classic matte dots. Either way, <laughs> you matter. All right. I hope you enjoyed the card and you'll come try the color challenge. The link to the kitchen table stamper craft social is below the video. Follow over and find the post in the craft social with this graphic. Put together your paper crafted project featuring Coastal Cabana Polished Pink and Daffodil Delight and share with us. We love to see what you're making. All right, guys, if you need anything, if there's anything you can do to help you stay crafty, email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com and to shop Stampin' Up 24-7, you can buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net. Click shop. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.